Jared, the lead singer of Bare Minimum. How you doing, Josh? Tell me a bit about yourself. I, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm the lead singer of, of the band. Um, uh, Dan likes to write a lot of the lead stuff, a lot of the solos and the harder stuff, but um, I sort of pride myself on the chords for yeah. Bare Minimum. Right. The songs. Yeah. See, there's an A. Oh, there's an E. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, so tell me, is it hard to be the lead singer of a band? Oh, yeah. The, the pressure really gets to me um, a lot of the time when we're on stage, especially. Yes. You really feel it. But I just like to think of the kids. And, yeah. Um, I like to provide a sort of a role model figure for them. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's really what I'm about. That's hot. Oh. Um. So, what do you do in your spare time? Um. I really like to um, just chill with my mates, play rugby. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just hang out, parties with my mates. My friends really mean the world to me. That is so nice. Um, hey Shady! I suppose before the band gets here I like to I like to sort of warm up my own way. Can you feel it building like a wave the ocean just can't control? Hey guys. I really picture yeah. myself as a more of a stage actor oh. than being in a band. Yeah, variety's good, yeah. <laughs> Stop me, <that>, Josh! <laughs> um, my favourite song on the, the EP is um, this one right here. <laughs> Hang on, isn't this Lincoln Park? No, it's on our CD though. I just think our fans really deserve to listen to it. But it's like a song. It's a good song though! Yeah, but do people actually listen to the EP? No. What are you doing here? So, uh, I hear you're the bassist of Bare Minimum. Uh, Bare Minimum? What? Uh, your, uh. your band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Well, there's got to be someone that people idolise. I mean, who wants to look up to a bunch of ugly guys? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, Ashley, what do you like to do in your spare time? I paint. I draw. And I read some comics. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. piece of art that you've got is uh, quite amazing. I quite hey, like that one. You kidding? No, I'm not. No, it's a piece of sh- Who's? Oh. So... This is Billy, and he's kind of like, he's my teddy slash personal art guru. And I sleep with him every night, but I mean, look, he's, he's not really a him. He's kind of asexual, but anyway, yeah, yeah, we're in the process right now of him giving me feedback to do with my latest piece of art, which is the fat stick figure. So the fat stick figure was a concept that I came up with sometime last year. And it's supposed to represent the changes in society, or well, American society. Because I think that when children draw stick figures in the future, they will no longer be a representation of society. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, they won't really be called stick figures anymore, will they? No, they'll be called Shut Up Josh. What does Bear Minimum mean to you? Kind of a side project. It's more of a way to just explore my wilder side, but I devote myself to my art most of the time. I read comics, a lot of comics. Yeah. So you're uh, Dan Andrews.
who's the great guitarist and uh, obviously good looking on the bare minimum. That's right, Josh. Good looking is my middle name. Okay, and uh, what do you think you, you offer the band? What do you bring to the band? Well, there's only one word that springs to mind when I think about myself, and that's energy. It's the only thing I really bring to the band. Both at school and at home, I really feel like my energy levels bring just the place to life. Like at parties and just social occasions, I'm just the one to be with. The one to really get going! What um, activities do you partake in that portray this energetic and one to be with side of you, Daniel? Well, the first thing that springs to mind is the gym. All right. I'm very rarely not sitting in the gym. I have many colleagues that come with me. But one thing that really does really take a, bit, a huge part of my life is the um, form of Buddha Chi. <laughs> okay. It is a very disciplined martial arts. So obviously, you wouldn't understand. It no. takes a strong mind and a strong body to accomplish some of the facts that are unable to unknown quantities in this martial arts. <sighs> you Finally, your body um, oh. does look like a temple to me. So. Does it, does it wear you out or is it... You know? No, endurance has never been a factor for me. I just keep on going. As you can see, I haven't stopped pedaling since we started this interview. Apart from that, a very serious part of my life is modelling, Josh. I've been doing it since I was born. Modelling is just my own personal way of just venting my creativity because the band is just not enough, Josh. Here's a few of my shots, Josh. As you can see here, I do look quite disturbed. What we had here was a seagull shitting on Jared's car. Well, that is a very nice photo. Yes, it is a nice shot, Josh. Um, here's the next one. It's the same photo, isn't it? I actually had postcards printed of this one, Josh. Wow. Yes, wow. So, all in all, Daniel Andrews is a pretty talented guy then. Well, let's just say, if the band fails, I'm pretty much covered. drummer Tim Carter. How are you Tim? I'm um, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I'm fantastic too. Uh, so tell me a bit about yourself. Well, well, yeah, um, I'm kind of an all-rounder. I play drums in the band, but I also play quite a bit of guitar in my spare time. Like, it's just what I do really. That's good, yeah? Yeah, um, like, I mean, in the band, I'm kind of the guy who like, knows how to work things, so if like something's broken, I'll fix it. Like, if no sound's coming out of the amps, I'll tell them to turn it on. Like, <laughs> that sort of thing. Straightforward, straightforward. Yeah. So, um, being a drummer, do you think you bring any creativity to the band that impacts on the audience or anything like um, that? Well, I'm not so sure it impacts on the audience because, uh, well, I, I do a lot of composing in my spare time, mostly in class. I get caught a lot. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's why I'm failing right now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear about that, Tim. Uh, that's all right, really. I mean, I think my songwriting makes up for it. Maybe one day someone in the media will recognise me, take me in or something. But yeah. uh, it's not really a happening thing right now. But um, yeah, so I just, I don't know, just go out to the ocean or something, because, I mean, it's, it's kind of where I go for my inspiration. I think it's, uh, I think it's very important when you're, uh, when you're writing to, like, have a, have a peaceful environment. Yeah. So, how long do you tend to spend out there in the ocean? Uh, sometimes minutes, sometimes hours. I think my record's um, three and a half days. Whoa. Yeah, it's That's good impressive. To, yeah, it's good to get away from the, uh, the band. Sometimes it yeah. can be, become a really... A uh, hostile environment, and it's kind of hard to let your creative juices flow. Right. Yeah. So you must write quite a few songs then. Well, nah, it's kind of hard to write when you don't have a guitar handy. Oh. Ah. Anyway, out of curiosity, can you please tell me a dumb drummer joke? Ah, uh, I think my favourite one is um, what do you call a drummer with no girlfriend? <laughs> what? Homeless. So could you go and show me a few songs you've written? Yeah, sure. Sure, let's go. Um, this is a song I wrote, it's called uh, Raging Fetus. Uh -huh. 